All right, here we have another relatively quick little lesson. And this deals with segments that come from chords. Now remember, a chord is a line that travels across a circle from one side to the other. And a line segment is a line that has endpoints on both ends. So if we draw a chord across a circle, say from B to D here, and then another one from A to C, we note that the two lines, the two chords, intersect here at point E. Now what's interesting is that if we then take another line to connect B and C and another line to connect A and D, we end up with two triangles. And the two triangles that form are similar, meaning that all of their angles are the same. This one here, mark with one unit, corresponds to here. This one corresponds here. And then these are vertical angles, so they're obviously the same. And they correspond here. So then when we have two similar triangles, you may remember that when triangles are similar, their sides are in proportion in addition to their angles being the same, which means that if we were to take this side here and divide it by this side here, the resulting fraction would be the same as if we were to take this side here and divide it by this side here. And that's kind of convenient because it tells us that we can then take the information we have to calculate how long these things are from little bits of information. Because if A divided by D, A over D, is the same thing as C over B, C over B, then we could multiply both sides by D, which would cancel here and leave a D up here, and multiply both sides by B, which would cancel here and leave a B up here, and that gives us AB is equal to CD. So now we know that if we were to multiply this segment's length right here by this segment's length, B, the resulting answer would be the same as if we were, were to multiply C from here to here by D from here to here. So we can use our information to find missing bits of links inside of a circle in addition to learning about the angles that form those two triangles since we know now that the triangles that are formed are similar. Kind of interesting and you're going to see I think you'll you'll find there's a couple of questions in the example questions that are kind of neat uh, using this information so let's move on and we'll take a look at those.